So that's a 13 year old American boy called Willis Gibson and the reason why he's so happy is because he's the first recorded person to ever beat the video game Tetris. <laughs> Apparently he also dedicated the achievement to his father who recently passed away and obviously he was really happy, emotional, everyone else was happy for him apart from this miserable old trout. Now Tetris has long been touted as a video game that just can't be beaten because it just goes on and on. As a mother, I would just say step away from the screen, go outside, get some fresh air. Beating Tetris is not a life goal. <laughs> Speaking of fresh air, let's get a look at the weather. <laughs> it's just embarrassing that a fully grown adult woman is trying to diminish a 13 year old boy's achievement. And most of the internet think the same thing. Someone said being mean to a 13 year old is really embarrassing. The worst part is she feels so comfortable saying this too. Imagine talking down on a 13 year old boy who lost his father and dedicated the win to him. Winning a game that was created decades before he was born and no one else technically could win before him. Sounds like someone never got past level three. She's definitely that aunt that everyone hates. <laughs> Boomers when young people see life as more than waking up, going to work, going to sleep. E-games are now fully scholarship worthy. She should be called out. Just because it's not her life goal, that's a major accomplishment. She should be embarrassed she doesn't know better. There's literally an entire documentary on Tetris. What did she accomplish when she was 13? And no one's going to remember her next year. They'll remember him forever. Fuck her, she's a muppet. And I'm pretty sure the kid doesn't give a shit. He's an online gamer. This has boosted his following and he even got to meet the creator of Tetris. Yeah, I'm Alexey Pasatnov. I'm creator of Tetris. And grats for, <laughs> for you guys to be the program which kind of existed for many years and played by 100 millions of people. That's <laughs> quite an achievement, I would say. Uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so my name is Hank Rogers. Uh, I'm the guy who <laughs> the Soviet Union in 1989 and met Alexey to bring Tetris to the rest of the world. And what you've done is an amazing, amazing achievement. But there is someone who's not around to watch him play. Willis's father recently passed away. So he says this win is for him. I thought it'd be something pretty cool to dedicate it to him. He was always very supportive. And I think he'd be proud. Young boys who have strong masculine role models at home are the ones that are way more likely to succeed. The ones that are misguided and fucking up a lot are usually the ones that don't. You can see it, especially with that last kid. He's not learning just how to fight. He's learning how to deal with his emotions. <laughs> Excuse me, would you rather a hundred dollars or a date with me? <laughs> Neither. <laughs> Bye, bitch! I don't have sex out of relationships. So how do you get into the relationship? Through conversation, through getting to know someone. Through... And then you don't, you don't try before you buy it? I don't try before I buy. We're, we're getting to know each other, yeah? Yeah. You want, I want to put all my intention into you. But after a while, once we're talking to each other, you got a duty of care to look after me. You know what I'm trying to say? That like, I've got needs and oh, stuff. Oh, hundred percent. I believe. I believe that. Exactly. I have got a duty of care to look after you yeah, when so you're my you're, man. How do we get there? Through so are maintaining you a healthy relationship together. So before we're in a relationship mm -hmm. and we're just talking yeah. and just dating and stuff. Yeah. Are you cool with me sleeping with other people? Absolutely not. So you want me to go on a quest of celibacy while I get to know you? Yes. This is ridiculous. It's just showing your loyalties and your commitment. Why do I need to be loyal to you? I don't even know you like that. We're getting to know you. 
Yeah, because you want to make it something. You're trying to pursue something with me. There's no jeopardy there. So if you gave me something, that would make me... Want to stay. No, not want to stay, but take away the distractions. Forget about but everybody else. But this is else. what I mean. Mentally train yourself to not be distracted so that you can focus on one person but and I'm, maintain their, their, your energy there and loyalties whilst you get to know them. But I want to have... Yes, so graft for it. Nothing easy should, should come that easy. Someone giving you their body should not be that accessible. What kind of graft are you talking about? Like, you want, how, what kind of graft is that? I have to be your boyfriend. Like, that's a yeah. different kind of graft. Not just get to know you and be cool. You're trying to tell me graft and I'm being your boyfriend. You have to make that initial commitment because why am I going to give myself to you? And then you say, well, actually, it's not for me the next day. I mean, if she's being real and that's actually the way she moves, then fair enough. I can respect that a lot more than the women that just give up to anybody really easily. But I don't know, because there's also a lot of women that will make a man take him out, make a man go for dates, and then she'll never give him nothing. Then she'll meet some random guy at the bar and she'll let him smash the same night. I also want to know what she does if she decides to make a man her boyfriend, but then she gets in the bed with him and there's no sexual chemistry whatsoever. Because let's not pretend that sex has no important role whatsoever. What's one thing you wish women did more of? Huh. Pick me up, lay me down on the bed, tell me I'm beautiful, bring me flowers. Hold themselves accountable. Stop complaining. Stop fucking begging. Cook for me, wash my feet, wash my back, wash my balls. What did he say? If a man wanted me to be their girlfriend, with what I know now, and if I wasn't married, I would say all expenses paid, okay? If you're not going to propose, that's fine. $10 million placed in my account right now. Because if I'm going to be your girlfriend for a year, that's going to really lower my mate value and you're going to build yourself up. So transfer $10 million into my account and I'll think about being your girlfriend for a year. That's how much I would say for each year, if I ever even did it. Because it's so highly degrading for a woman. Are you delusional? Do, are, do you suffer from a mental illness? Most irrelevant country right now is India. First of all, have they ever fought in a war? I feel like they don't participate in war, which is fine. I respect that. That's like unproblematic, but like what's good with them? Do they have a king or a president? Also, does no one want their land? Why? I respect that they stay out of conflict, but like, who do they fight for? Who are their allies? I just feel like I never hear about them. Like, no natural disasters, no uprisings. They're never in the press. Where are you, India? The most worrying thing about this is I don't think it's satire, because she's deleted her account. And if it isn't, then the Muppet needs Michael. Get some help. What's one thing? you've never told your ex that i cheated you cheated yeah did he cheat no why you did that okay so i kind of like self-sabotage sometimes i think like the guy is doing something and then i do it first or do it when i'm thinking that he's doing it why do women do that yeah i don't know but i don't do that anymore i'm good so so after you cheated did you find out that he wasn't cheating? You knew he wasn't cheating. You just wanted to step out. Yeah. Was it worth it? Yeah. It was? Oh, yeah. We don't need to hear anymore if she cheats. She belongs to the streets. 